Hey everyone, welcome back to the Omni Studio series. I am Vishnu Kumar, and in this uh, session, we are going to learn about the list actions, which are part of the integration procedures, or also called as a IP. And uh, this is very, uh, very, very important action that I would say because it allows you to manipulate your arrays, merge your arrays, sort your arrays, right? So let's get started with the example. And I'm going to show multiple example uh, for this. Okay, so I'll name it multiple examples. Okay, I'll provide the same type in September. I have also created one data which we will take uh, for our example. Okay, so we have three arrays in this okay, list with name where you see that we have name. Then we have two more um, fields like ID and external ID. Just to keep it uh, straightforward, I have given as like ID as a 1, 2, 3, and then external ID as a 11, 12, 13. Okay. And then I have created two list arrays with almost same content, but there is a slight difference. Uh, so if you see the list with age 1 have the age, then the same IDs that we have in the, uh, in the first array. But if you see that, uh, we have one, two, and three, right? ID. But in the second list, you will see one, two, and four. Okay. So we will cover uh, like a couple of examples using this. And then uh, we have list of uh, age two. Okay. Where instead of ID, what I have is a rec ID. Okay. So this is this is over array, and we are going to perform multiple operations uh, with the list action here. Okay. So. I will copy this array here and I will go here and then I will paste the array here. Okay, so this is our um, input. I'll remove this. Okay, this seems good. Okay, validated. This seems good. Okay. okay, so now let's go back and let's add the list action that is here. Okay, and if you see here, uh, as I told you, there are multiple options list merge, sort list, modify list. So, list merge have a lot of uh, ways to like merge the list. So, we will cover one by one. Okay. So, I will give this action name as list merge simple. Okay. And here, if you see the list merge option here, okay, what we need to do is we need to define our lists here okay so define when i say the define that means whatever list we have we are going to ex explain or like add the uh, list here so the list with name one okay and then i will utilize this array list with s age one okay so now we have defined that okay we want to merge this and this okay but what, which field on which field we want to merge, right? So what I'm going to do is I will utilize the ID. So here, merge field ID. And what I will do, I will add a response action as, as well. And whatever data final output I'm getting here, that I will print down or send down through the additional output okay so, so as you can see the two list has been merged right and you can see the age in name so if you see this based on id we merged it so if you see the id is one and id is one so batman is getting age of 51 okay then superman is getting age of uh, 61 but if you see uh, we don't have any matching here like id one and id four right we don't have id sorry id three and id four uh, so both are like uh, the elements which don't overlap in the both areas right so they are coming as it is so we have this and we have this okay so this is our first example and this is a straightforward example okay in the second example what we want is that uh, if we have common id then it should merge and if we don't have the common id then what we want is we just want to prevent the data that we have in our first list we don't want 
this age, right? Because logically, this data doesn't seem good, right? Because we have the age, but we don't know like which character. But at least in this point, if you see this, we have the name, right? So if so, something like this, if we need to uh, like accomplish what we uh, we need to do is like go to here, and then we have option called primary. Okay, so I will list merge and then primary. Okay, and what we need to do here is that we need to check the checkbox, and then we need to define which list is over primary. Okay. So I have defined list with name, okay. And now I will send out the data in response as well. Okay, go back, hit preview. So this is our sec second example. Now you can see that we have age, which is merge. The second element is also merge. Now we have element which is not merged but we still have the in the list but now we don't have the 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 third one from the list with age one array right because we don't have or we had specified that our primary list is this one, the list with name okay so this is our second example in the third example uh, we are going to utilize the advanced merge and well i'll show you like why we should use advanced merge and when okay so i have cloned the element here same parameters um that we have here okay and i will give uh, the name list merge advanced okay so here uh, we are going to take example of we have three lists, right? So we are going to take example of list one and list two. So if you see uh, this list with name, we have ID and previously we had the ID. So it was straightforward, but what if we want to match with different node? Okay, so here we want to match with ID to rec ID. Okay, we know value is same, but the name is different, right? So how we can accomplish this? Okay. So here we are going to utilize the list with age two. Okay, so I'll go back, and here I will say, okay, I want to merge list with name and list with age two, and in the advanced merge, I will add the merge. Okay, so here I will say list with name, and I want to match with ID, or I will give a group name matching group one. Okay, and then list with age two. Okay, and here what we have is rec id and this is also group one okay so now we have this and this so let's print out in response section so i have printed out this so let's go back and let's preview it okay so list merge advance um, if you see that this has been like uh merge successfully and you can see this uh, we have the rack id and id both uh, when it's coming as an output right so it basically merging the array now uh, or not just by the uh, like by the like value but it also merge the other attributes as well right that we was, we saw earlier but it's this time you will see the rack id and id both in this array okay so this is how you do the advanced merge okay and for example you want to do this much right but you want to have end condition that for for example you will say that okay id should match with the id okay and external id should also match with the external id right so you want to have some end conditions right so how you can do is that you go here okay and what i will do i will clone this and i will give this as an example to name list merge with advance with multi group okay so here we have this and list of name with 
and in in this case we have this external id right uh, so external id i will put down in this group 2 and then second one we have the same external id right so now we have four mapping okay and we are putting in the group to match by okay so if i have added into group 1 then it will match by id and rec id and whatever we have in the group 2 will match by the external id and external id okay so let's go back and i think i should add this in our output so we can print out okay. so let's go back let's hit the preview okay. so we will get the same like data or like because we have the matching external id but if we don't have the matching external id for example like if i do this 12 right even though this id 1 and 1 is matching with uh, that but if i do this so let's see what happens you see this we have the batman here alone because it didn't get merged then we have superman dot did got merged then we have this then this and one was supposed to for the uh, like batman when it but it didn't merge because the external id uh, were not same okay so that is how it uh, you can utilize the advanced merge in our next example we are going to use the sort list okay so straightforward uh, i don't think so we need much explanations here but what i will do is like i will clone uh, simplest one here which is our list merge primary don't want to delete this let's clone this out i'll move the my action here and list sort okay and here in this sort value i'll provide my key that i want to sort by which is our name okay and i want to sort by in descending and what i will do i will add this list sort into our response action okay this looks good i have added it let's go back and let's preview it okay so we have this list uh, where we have superman iron man and batman okay and if i uncheck it obviously it will be sorted as a as in the ascending order okay so i'll go back and i'll show you so batman iron man superman. okay straightforward pretty simple okay now we have our third list um, operations that we can perform is a modify list okay so in this like it we are not like updating or like merging anything right it's just that whatever data we are getting and row and we are going to modify that okay so the first thing that we are going to utilize here is the dynamic output fields okay so what does that mean okay that means you can define what kind of outputs you want right so right now if you see that uh, we have in this sort we have age x id id name but we just want name in age okay so how we can do that so let's clone this out and i will give this a name list modify dynamic output okay and i will add this into our list or response okay let's go back and let's see how it works okay so to achieve this what we need we need a variable okay so i will call this anything um i'll call like so i'm going to call this my output fields and i will add this here in the last 
okay and i will say name okay so whatever notes we are giving here uh, we need to make sure that we are providing with comma separated and we are not adding any kind of space here okay so we have same here okay let's go back and let's preview it so list modified dynamic output you see we have name age name is okay so this is our first example from the modify list so now let's go for the next one which is our filter list formula and how it works is that whatever rows we are iterating what we can we can define some kind of filter and then we can get that data based on the filter okay so i'm going to give this name as list modify filtered output okay and what I'm going to do is uh, we I'm going to put an output if the name is Batman okay. so here in the filter lost list formula I'll say if name is Batman then we should have that in output okay so if this formula is true then only that particular row element will be considered as a output okay so here i will print out this one as well okay and where else you can utilize it for example you want to exclude all of the data which is uh, where we have like where we don't have the age right so you want to exclude all of that kind of data right so you can achieve that uh, pretty easy okay so you can provide something like that okay age not equals to null Okay, something like this okay so let's go back and let's preview it so you see list modify filter output now we only have the batman because we have applied this check here in the filter okay, okay now let's jump to the third example on the modify list which is our update field value okay so how it works is that you can add new attribute uh, using the formula okay so i'm going to give this name as update field okay and i will also add this in the over response section here Okay, so let's let's go back and let's see what options we have here. Okay, uh, I will remove this for from our current example, and then new value or I would call it like name with age. Okay, and here I will concatenate my name. with age okay. okay so if i go back and let's hit the preview so you see this name with edge we have batman then dash then 51 okay so this is how you can utilize it and there is one more thing let's go back and let's execute it so you see this you can update the any existing node as well it just if you give the same node name then it will be overridden but if you give a node which is not present in the array uh, then it will create a new node right so this is how you can do this okay and you can add multiple parameters as well or multiple uh, nodes as well okay so here i will give name with age and i will apply the same okay 
and here I will just give a name and at the end I will add something like this so it should be clear my name is so let's go back so we by doing this right we have both examples in list okay name with age uh, batman 51 and name we have override in the current node as well okay so again a uh, pretty powerful action i would say that we have here in the list action as you can see that uh, we have around completed eight examples right so a lot of lot of things that you can complete uh, in list actions okay so that's it for the uh, this session and please do subscribe the channel if you haven't uh, thank you so much and we'll see you in next session bye bye